Tonight from the 8 on your side team, a Susquehanna Valley man nearly got scammed just by looking for work. Consumer reporter Brian Roach shows us how he avoided becoming a victim. <laughs> like millions of other people have done before him, Joe Longmire clicked on the internet looking for a job. I was trying to find to see if there was something maybe I could do in my everyday routine. On Craigslist, he found an ad that grabbed his attention. That's cool. The ad that I found said it was just um, careful drivers needed. Joe then got a return email telling him that it wasn't really a job. It was a company looking to wrap his car in advertising to benefit the Wounded Warriors Project. They would compensate me for basically being a mobile billboard. for three, They would compensate me $300 a week for it. Your first week's payment. Joe looked over the email that he received very carefully. I don't see anything here that's saying, hey, I'm fake or I'm frauding you or anything like that. After Joe responded to the ad, he received a check in the mail, just a check, no letter. Then he got an email, told him to deposit the check, and then wire transfer money back to someone. He recognized that right away as a big red flag. The check for $973 was made out to Joe. I was supposed to keep $400 of it and then send them 500 and said wire transfer and the, the Western Union thing. As soon as I seen the Western Union, I knew it was going to be the scam. And Joe said he knew that because he's a loyal viewer of News 8. From watching everything that I've ever seen that you've done, and it said this is a scam. In fact, it's a well-established scam. The Wounded Warrior Project is aware of it and has posted a warning about the scam on the organization's website. Joe, he's got a warning for consumers as well. I have learned that it's... It's not as hard as what people think to fall for a scam like this. It is very easy to fall for. The bottom line, there are many, many stories that scam artists use to con their victims in cases like this. A job offer, a grandchild who needs to be bailed out of jail. Maybe you need to pay two, or taxes on that $2 million lottery that you just won, right? Uh, it does not matter what the story is. doesn't matter what the story is, but if the story ends with you having to wire transfer money or to use a cash card to send money to someone you do not know, it's a scam. It's just that simple. And Joe is a great example. A lot of people I talk to, he thought he had a legitimate real money-making opportunity in his hand until he heard those words wire transfer and then he just walked away and I know you always ask me on News 8 at 530 Brian why do we keep doing the story because people keep getting conned by this they're, taught, they're tempted man and they want, they, they want to fall for I sit right beside you at 530 I'm absolutely paranoid I don't believe anything <laughs> <laughs> all right thank, thank you Brian. Brian taking a live look now from our Harrisburg sky cam interesting cloud pattern out there tonight. The News 8 forecast is next.